a lot of people that do these things and drive a lot of fans to their websites, and they have these these relationships that they're fostering. Uh, you know, they don't get signed or picked up, and, and they feel uh, stagnant's not really the right word, but they they want more. Um, what's the next move? Touring or hiring somebody yeah. for PR? So, so that's interesting. So it's kind of like how you measure success, right? Um, there are people that think that a label deal is a stamp of, of approval. I've made it, you know? But I, I think it's more nuanced than that, you know? Um, so it kind of depends on... Let me, let, me, um, let me outline a success story. Um, so you know a former co-worker of yours, Amy Heidemann, mm-hmm. who's part of this band, Carmen. Right. Um, so I, I like what they did. And the end result is they did get signed, right? Um, they got signed to Sony. They're the flagship artist for Epic right. Right, right now. That's where they are right now. They're on Saturday Night Live two weeks ago. Yep. You know? So this is where they are now. How they got started and how they measured their success was and a really smart manager who said, all right, you guys want to be international pop superstars. Mm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at Billboard every week. And we're going to look at the songs that um, are popular in Billboard, trending songs. And you guys are going to do t- two covers a week, right? So, and I talked to Amy about this, and it's just fascinating. And it, and it works. So they, they built up slowly. So they would cover a Janelle Monet song. Janelle Monet would see that on, on, on Twitter, yep. retweet it, and then slowly, you know, it looks like Carmen just like popped, they're here. Yep. But if you look at the whole thing, right, it's a slow build, you mm-hmm. know? So I think it's different for everybody. Um, I think Carmen did a really good job by identifying that we're going to totally focus on YouTube. And they, like, owned the Internet for a period of time. Yeah. Like, they were, they were it. They've you got know? friends everywhere because of that. They kind of picked them up along the way. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's a little bit of an abstract thing, but, you know, um, yeah. they were judging their success by the increase in YouTube views. And then finally, um, uh, oh, man, I forget the name of the site right now. It was a hip-hop site. Um, all hip uh was it world star world hip-hop. world star hip hop yeah. yeah they picked it up right yep. they picked up the chris brown cover and that right. kind of got this massive thing happening but if you look before that they were measuring their success by okay we're getting more views more views more views and then poof, and yeah. then you know um uh, and a lot of people just see this part but there was this build up here yeah. you know um so the other thing you mentioned was touring um which i think is really 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 important i teach primarily online music marketing courses um and i talk about physical stuff too but for me there's nothing more, there's no better way to engage fans than a live show. Mm-hmm. There's not. You know, like if I'm at South by Southwest and I might have heard of some band and maybe I listen to them on Spotify or something like that and they're like, okay. But if I see them live and I'm blown away, you know, um, that's a whole different thing. So I, I think you are at a disadvantage if you don't play out live. I know it's not possible for everybody, um, but I think you need that skill, you right. know. Um, so, yeah, you know, honing your craft. This is something we didn't talk about. Before, all, any, any marketing should be done is you've got to have great music, of yeah. course, of course. Um, and I think you've got to have your live show together, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go off on a tangent. Uh, so John Mayer came to Berkeley, um, and he comes here periodically, does different clinics. Um, and I'm going to talk about social media for a second. So um, when he was here last, um, you know, he... He, had, he has a history with social media. He had a lot of Twitter followers, you know, like that sort of thing. He kind of killed it all. And he said to Berkeley students, um, songwriting folks, he's like, hey, listen, now is not the time to be thinking, is this a good tweet? Is this a good Facebook post? Um, now is the time to be thinking, is this a good chorus? Is mm-hmm. this a good song? So I, I really agree with that. You know, you got to hit the woodshed. Um, you got to be great. You got to be great at what you do. Um, Carmen is great. Amy's voice is great. You know, like they've got some magic there. Mm-hmm. Um, and they honed it at, at Berkeley. You know, they were here right. four years and, you know, they honed it. Um, but you have to be fantastic. So John Mayer says, uh, here's your social media plan. Create music that doesn't suck. You can have visibility <laughs> in a minute if your music is great. Right. You know, um, and there's something to that. Right. But there is something to there's all these little things you can do with social media to improve right. results.